I'm Jess Cooper, um, originally from the Twin Cities area, uh, mental health practitioner up there. Uh, moved here two years ago to Brookings and um, been staying home with my kids for the last two years. Calvin, he's the oldest, he's three. Uh, Miles is my second, he's 18 months, and Lauren is two months. So I was diagnosed on ESER, um, came in a few days before that for just a regular checkup appointment. Um, when I came up, I was really out of breath, um, and I had a really high pulse rate. And I just thought it was because I was nine months pregnant. And um, anyways, they sent me over to the OB department um, just to run a few tests and make sure that there was nothing else going on. And then because all the tests came back completely normal, they did the COVID-19 test. And then um, I thought it would be negative because why would I have that? I've been staying at home for the last four weeks. And uh, a couple days later, they came back and said it was positive. I had gotten a call from Dr. Bennis right away the next day, and she had consulted with, I don't even know who she consulted with, but people that are, you know, doing this for a living, I guess. And, um, and they told her that they needed to do the delivery as soon as they could, so um, she was super apologetic about it. I think she felt awful that it was gonna have to happen the way that it was happening. Um, but she was really good. She walked us through how everything would go and what her plans were and what everything was going to look like. Um, and then a little while later, I had gotten a call from the nursing department, Mary, um, and she walked us through everything as well of how her nursing staff was going to take care of everything, how they were going to make me feel comfortable, what they were going to do. Um, so that was really nice. Originally, my parents were supposed to come out to Brookings from Wisconsin, so they were going to come earlier that week and watch the boys so that we would, you know, kind of be ready for if she came early or what was going to happen. Um, but I actually had a C-section scheduled already for the week after, so it's going to kind of work out. But um, yeah, so they were going to come out, and then once we got that call, it was like, well, they can't come out anymore. His parents can't come out, you know, because everybody's older and um, it's just couldn't really risk them getting sick. So, um, so yeah, I think immediately it was like, okay, well, he's not going to be there. So, all right, that changes things <laughs> quite a bit. So, um, so yeah, he stayed home with the kids and at 6 a.m. on the 15th, I drove myself <laughs> in to have a baby. <laughs> So they actually met me out in the parking lot, uh, got everything together, got me masked and you know whatever they needed to do, help me carry all my stuff in since I was by myself. Um, and then I was down in a room downstairs by myself, kind of in this isolation area. Um, when I walked into the room, they actually had flowers that they had sent um, from the nursing staff and from the doctors that were helping. And then. Um, they had the room decorated with pink balloons and pink stuff on the walls, so um, so yeah, it was really nice that way. Like it just felt like, oh, okay, like it's still kind of a special experience, even though I'm by myself. Like it was just very thoughtful. In the delivery room, they actually did FaceTime. So the anesthesiologist he held my phone, and then he FaceTimed both Tom and the the kids. And um, actually, that was really fun. <laughs> that was we wouldn't have had it that way. You know, it would have just been me and Tom in there. And it was really fun to have the boys on camera too. You know, obviously they don't really know what's going on, but it was fun to see them and I think they really liked it. You know, got to see their sister and, you know, you walk in and it just looks like you're walking into, I don't know, that scene from E.T. <laughs> and. Um, it was nice though because I was sitting on the table and of course I'm the only one not in any sort of suit but um, each person introduced themselves to me and like I just remember them like looking at me in the eye like telling me that their names and who they were and what they did and um, yeah I think that just made it a lot more comfortable you know I obviously wasn't gonna be able to recognize who all these people were but I think in that moment they recognized that it was it was scary if it was after 37 weeks, 
the very small amount of research that they had seen was that if I did develop symptoms and I was pregnant, it was it would have gotten exponentially worse. And so um, I think their whole thought process was behind it was if I did get sick, it was easier to take care of one person being sick rather than a person and a baby and then trying to deliver when I was really sick. So I think they were just trying to beat the symptoms if I were to get them. I really appreciate being listened to. Um, I think there's never a, a time where I didn't feel like my concerns were being heard. Um, you know, I think no matter when you're pregnant, whether it's your first kid or your third kid, you still have 10,000 questions and you're still a mom and you still get nervous and um, want to make sure everything's okay. And I, th I think it can be really easy for doctors and nurses to push you off. And, you know, even if everything is normal, I mean, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I don't know. Um, so I, I really appreciate being listened to and um, being cared for in that way. First, I would say don't panic. <laughs> It'll be okay. Um, but I would also say ask as many questions as you as you want. Um, don't worry about feeling stupid and don't worry about looking stupid. I think that it's there's so many unknowns with it that it it is really scary and you want to feel um, you want to feel as safe as you can. Um, but yeah, I think the first thing is just don't panic. <laughs> It's, it's not always going to be as bad as you think it's going to be. It's a community hospital, so you know you come in and you see familiar faces every time you're here. Um, I think in pregnancy especially, that's what you want to see, right? Like you want to know that the person that is taking care of you is part of your community and has, you know, lasting ties here. And um, I think, you know, you you want to feel as comfortable as you can and being in this community and with this health system you do like I felt very comfortable coming in and it was nice to see the same faces every time it's a really good experience even in a normal pregnancy um, you get the care that you would expect and you guys go above and beyond beyond here um, and when things don't go as expected is when you really want to be with Brookings Health System because they, they care about you. They do everything that they can to make you feel comfortable um, and you know that you're in the best place that you could possibly be. Are you one of Brookings Health System's grateful patients who would like to give back to us? Learn more about how you can give back at brookingshealth.org slash my thanks.